Hi, my name is Christian, and I'm playing with my brother-in-law, Brian, and we are going to play Star Wars Armada, and we have some of the extended um, expansions for it, so we're going to have a pretty large fleet battle today. Brian had exactly 300 points, and I had 299 when we were setting it up with the ships and the upgrades, so I get to place my first ship first. And I'm going to put, you have to do your ship within the first three spaces. So I'll do my blockade runner here. So yeah, just choose one of your ship, Brian. I will choose my Gladiator 1 class Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer and I will place it here at the very edge in the middle. Okay. I'll take my Assault Frigate. And I will set it up here. I will take my Victory 2 class Star Destroyer and place it directly in front. Oh, uh, well, it has to be no more than three. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, it's off the edge a little bit. Look at that. Is that regulation? I don't know. Not quite. Yeah, it's like, well, you would line it up here. I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> Are you going to risk a possible collision? Yes. <laughs> All right, if it fits. Does it fit? Uh, I'll say it's close enough. I'll, I'll, I'm kind of curious to see how crazy of a, of a maneuver you're going to do. All right, and then I choose my last ship. I'll put it actually. I'll go ahead and put it right in the middle. Okay. All right, and uh, so Brian, you do two of your fighters. Okay, um, I will choose my Hell Runner TIE Fighter Squadron and a normal TIE Fighter to go on the side in the front of my Victory Class Star Destroyer. Are you going for a Thalix uh, uh, formation? <laughs> well, I, I know he's got more capital ships to me so no matter what he's going to try and flank me so i'm just going to try and make myself as less flankable as possible i will have what my regular a wing and my wedge antilles x wing right here so you do your next oh and I forgot it actually has to be within I think three um, when you place your fighters it has to be within three of one of your ships so you can't be like putting it okay. over there not that you would shouldn't be a problem <laughs> um, I will Take my Darth Vader and they're not in view. That's all right. And they has they have to be within three of his thing anyway. Mm. I'll take my Darth Vader and the interceptor. I'll take one interceptor and I'll put them adjacent to my Gladiator class, Star Destroyer. You're going to put a Darth Vader all the way in the back. Yeah. This um, is the this is my objective ship. Ah. <clears throat> so yeah, if I lose that, it's pretty devastating. Okay, um, I'm gonna have my hero Y wing. Or the Dutch Vander. That's his name. Yep. <laughs> he got made fun of for uh, 
Dutch. Yeah, and he is going to be escorted by my Luke Skywalker. <coughs> Even in uh, another galaxy, Dutch is still uh, considered a weird name. <laughs> oh, so, oh yeah, so do your next two shifts. Uh, I will do... Interceptor and a advanced squadron in the front like this. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so my last one, I'm going to have my other X-Wing fly alongside... Um, my Y-Wing Bomber, and I'll have my A-Wing, my hero A-Wing, um, Tycho, oh my gosh, Kleechu, can you, uh, help me out on that pronunciation? <laughs> Tycho Kelchu. 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 All right, you know, brother, I, brother of Dutch Vandar. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, I'm going to set that up with my other Y wing. So, all right, and my remaining two uh, Tie Fighter squadrons will go next to my Gladiator class Star Destroyer. We should call this formation the Turtle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This, this formation is going to require some complicated maneuvering in the very beginning, but you'll see. Oh, we're just making it in and up as you go. So each one of these ships have different number of command values. So my assault frigate, which is over here, requires three. So I actually need to plan three moves ahead of time. While my blockade runners are much more flexible. They only each have one. So... The orders I put for this turn go into effect. Do you move before your command token takes effect? You turn it over and then you use it like within like that turn. But oh yeah, so okay, so I don't have to choose to do it right away. Right. Yeah. Okay. But like your engineering, you you either create a token if you can't use it at that moment, or because like concentrate fire doesn't happen until, well, none of us are going to be able to attack in the beginning. But if um you don't use one of these orders, you get a small token, um, representing it, and then uh, that allows you to, it's just a weaker variant of the different commands. And as we go through them. Um, um, we'll just explain as we go along of what commands we're ordering. So I'm also de going to declare what speeds all my ships are going to go at. Um, I'm going to have my assault frigate uh, start at a engine two, and I am actually going to start um, both of my blockade runners at four much faster ships. I am going to have my Victory Class 2 Star Destroyer start at two engines and my Gladiator Class will start at one and behind. Interesting. Okay, so normally we would do our attacks, but since there's going to be no, um, none of us can attack this round, I'm going to go ahead and do my first move. So my blockade runner has a engine of four, so the first one gets no ticks, so it has to go straight, and then my next one does one tick. And then one tick, then two ticks if I want it. But I think I'm actually going to keep it going straight. Do you want? I'm actually going to change my mind. I'm going to actually have both of them do engine three. So 
So I'm going to put it at the three spot. And that's the end of my turn. So Brian moves one of his ships now. Okay. I will move my guy in the front, the Star Destroyer. And he moves. Do I do my command now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my command is engineering. But since I can't use it, I'm going to go ahead. Since all my shields are all at full, which I need to make sure that they're at, which they're not. So each region has its own shield strength. I'm just making sure that they're all in the correct values. Oh, okay. Well, it was like, it was like there. <laughs> um, so since I can't use this engineering token, I'm going to go ahead and put it next to my ship on the card, which is off screen. But, um, and I'm going to leave it up, leave this up, knowing that I moved this one. It's it's not on the camera. It it, it it's not on the camera, but it's just set to the side. Let's leave it here for now. All right, now sorry, you go. I will move. Oh, well, first I will do my command token, which is a maneuver, um, which I won't do yet. So I'll move him. Just completely straight. And then I will use my man uh, maneuver to decrease his engines down to one. And then we'll end the turn of that ship. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move my second blockade runner, also going three. So I get one tick, one tick. So I go ahead and do. Oh. Three, I get one tick and then two ticks if I want. So I'll do that. Oh, and the command for this one was also engineering. You're going to see a, a trend here. Make sure these things stay alive during the game. And oh, so it doesn't affect this round, but it's it's uh, within, I guess, technically medium distance. Um, because it's actually the fur it's from point the furthest point of the card to the point of the card but for the firing arcs you de determine that by the yellow dots on each one of it but since uh they couldn't fire when it was their turn then uh there, there won't be any fighting this combat all right so your okay. other ship so the ship will move One space. And then... Oh, what was the order for it? Oh, yeah, the order was a maneuver token. <clears throat> but I think I'll just take the token for that. Okay. And not use the maneuver. Um, the tokens go. Oh, here they are. Maneuver token. So I'm going to move my last frigate, and I have a speed at two, so I can do a one tick and then a one tick. I'm going to have it go this way. Have it turn the other way. I just have to be careful. I don't do any collisions. All right. So now you get to move two of your fighters. <clears throat> I will move. I'm going to use the distance. Yeah. So your tie fighters are four, I believe. And these are interceptors, and these are also four. Everything's four. 
Well, the, the interceptors are five, actually. But I'm not going to. I'm going to keep them together. So. Um, just keep on escorting my Star Destroyer. Alright. These all move at three. So, unless you object, I'm just going to move all three of these <laughs> together. You can just, I guess, either do three or. <laughs> well, you, I, or like, yeah, do. I'll just do two. Yeah. Um, I will move these up as well. I didn't measure because that's totally within range, obviously. Yeah. Have this three go here. Yeah, so yeah, be the top. Yeah, be there. So you're going to do another two since I did three the other time. I will move these two. To just behind this, this, the Star Destroyer. So these actually move at a five. So I'm going to have one go here. They're A wings, so they're fast. And I'll actually have. A wing was my favorite vehicle in Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> Oh yeah, like yeah, it's like uh, and Hoth. <laughs> too bad they're never gonna. Uh, you mean the Hoth space battle or? Well, you remember on the Hoth battle where you had to like wrap up the uh, Imperial walkers and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, that was fun. Um. Oh yeah, so I never <laughs> revealed, as you can guess, another engineering. I'm expecting uh, Brian to dish out a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot to do my command token for. Uh... No, I didn't. I already did that. Never mind. I'm crazy. <laughs> all, right, all right, you can make your last two fighters. All right. My last two fighters will move up in formation. Okay. So that's the, what we should have been doing was actually um, whenever we moved them, moving it from the blue to the red side. So it's turn. That's the end of turn one. So it's turn two. So it actually just have all of them be red. Let's do it proper, yeah. Because we're going to have some serious dog fighting in the future. We're going to want to... Keep track. Yeah. So what we do now is we take back our command tokens, and now we, we reissue orders. Oh, I already reissued my order. Okay. So what you do is, this is the order that I issued before, so now I change it, I put this at the bottom. So three turns from now, it's going to come into play, and I just have to hope I choose wisely for the other two. Um, so once again, the Rebels get to go first. I'm going to um, use this ship to go first, and the order that I chose for it is Concentrate Fire. And I'm going to attack Brian's front arc of his Star Destroyer with, I'll choose two blue and one red. Uh, when you do concentrate firepower, you get to add one more dice color of your choosing to, if it's in the arc and uh, and range. And so since it's in the medium range, red and blue dice can be used. And normally it would be one red and one blue, but since I um, am using the concentrated firepower, I get to use one more dice. So two hits. I will brace one of those hits. Mm -hmm. So each ship has three tokens that it uses. So actually, if you could hand me your victory or th your victory card, it just, just yeah the whole thing yeah. 
So he gets a brace and two shield redirects. The brace divides the attack power by two rounding up. But since I hit by two and uh, he's going to use brace, then he only gets one damage. So his shield, his front shield goes from three down to two. And now I get to be the cowardly rebel that I am and run away. <laughs> And so once again, this ship is at speed three. So, so fast. 